Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we'll be talking to Bill and teaching you precisely how to heat a knife a bridge dragon. Now, just before we start, you've probably seen I've made this video before on the best. Uh, Best spear dragon heat and lighting setup before, but uh, I didn't like what I was in the video, like for old setup of three foot venom's tr old three foot setup, and now she's in a four foot setup and have everything completely different. Research and um, uh, new technology has changed. So, as and, and, and as I said in my in that video, my old other one, which is now we now will be deleted by the time this video will be up. Um, I mentioned that it will be doing again it, as per normal with technology increasing all the better increasing all the time better new things new information new research and also my personal upgrades as well so you can so there's a lot happened since last time I did that video in May I think it was I made that video but that doesn't matter now since it's got me a new one now now that I announced that uh, let's get on to the video so bird dragons are ectothermic animals which means the majority of their body warmth comes from their environment. So, for bear dragons to regulate their body temperature, they need to have the option of moving from somewhere that is hot and warm to somewhere that is cooler, vice versa. To achieve this chill gradient in captivity, we designate one end of the vivarium as the basting spot and leave the other side unlighted and unheated to create a terminal gradient. Light and heat are combined from the sun, so in captivity we need to create a photo gradient or light gradient which matches up with a thermal gradient. Because of this, you want to have a UV index which is a measure of ultraviolet radiance peaking at, at the basin spot. With this I have a Acadia Pro T5 UVB really to give my beer dragon venom a good source of UVA and UVB. We'll get more on to UVB in, in later in this video. But UVA is what reptiles need to uh, to promote good eyesight, uh, to tell different colours and shapes and sizes and all different stuff. Uh, but we'll get on to UVB uh, later in the video. While also I was talking a bit about UVA, if you had a question, where does UVA come from? UVA comes from uh, any kind of light source really. Can't, well, well, not really any light source, but your UVB has UVA and then your heat bulbs... Uh, Tungsten filament heat, heat lamp bulbs would have UVA. UVA is just light, uh, kind of, it's uh, that light that we can't see, and I'm not sure, but I don't think reptiles can see it yet. I don't think there's no studies on it yet. Now, it is absolutely important that your dragon can, can regulate or hurt itself from the UVB because you wouldn't like to rest or sleep in the rest of sunlight. Although you, you, you do need kind of a uh, light gradient, I said, as kind of a, a space in your vivarium or enclosure that this kind of UVB dead zone. So there's no UVB where your reptile can have no UVB. Where Venom is now exactly on the screen is her UVB dead zone. So she's up on top of her hide and under the hide there you, she can get no UVB without also being on top of it, no UVB at all. So it'll be about 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I've no readings of that but um, I'm really sure it's going to be like that. But other than that once you have a UVB gradient or a uh, light gradient and you have a light dead zone then there's no possi possibility that you can have in your, uh, you can have kind of an area that's too an environment in your room or closure that's too bright for your rear dragon because in the wild you can't really under underestimate the amount of light you can give your dr dragon because we can't replicate daylight like they have in Australia Central Australia from like rear dragons are from. But as I said, it is still important that the light does tail off at the end of your dragon's enclosure or vivarium to like in a like gradient so then there's a spot where if your rear dragon can get no UVB to relax and no heat at all, just no light at all, no heat, just to relax from it or get a rest from it or do what they want from it. But as I said, this is you this is Venom's UVB um dead zone, light dead zone. Uh, there's a little bit like on the you can see on the right, but um other than that there's kind of no other light and you would be dead zone kind of it's the cool end, there's no heat there at all. So she can rest and do what she wants as she's doing now. Now let's move on and talk a little bit about UVB for bear dragons. So Ferguson zone wise, bear dragons fluctuate between Ferguson zone three and Ferguson zone four. I personally wouldn't use a, 
uh, fruit and stone for your bebo unless your virium is three foot high or higher. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using fruit stone tree as an example. So based on the 12% EV bulb for zone 3 T5, the EV bulb should be at least 40 centimeters or 16 inches away from the highest point of your breed dragon Sebastian spot. Then based on a 12% bulb for zone 3, a T8 needs to bulb needs to be at least 30 centimeters away or 12 inches away from your breed dragon Sebastian spot. And then for this video, I'm going to be um, naming two brands or listing two brands that I'm going to uh, talk about and talk about their EV and their different lights that they have. So starting off with the Arcade 12% and 14% UV bulb. So a T5 12% UV bulb, the UV bulb needs to be at least 40 centimeters or 16 inches away from the highest point of your Dragon Sebastian spot to achieve and maintain the correct focus zone or focus zone tree. Then with a T8 12% UV, UV bulb, the UV bulb needs to be at least 30 centimeters or 12 inches away from the highest point of a beer dragon spot to achieve and maintain the correct focus zone or focus zone tree for a beer dragon. Sorry it's like that, it wouldn't have put the picture in the video. Reptile Systems has made selecting a UV, the correct UV bulb for your uh, reptile easier by labelling the UV bulb boxes with the focus zone and pictures of the reptiles that fall into that specific focus Reptile Systems represents three UV bulbs. So, with a T5 fruit zone tree tr UV bulb, UV the UV bulb needs to be at least 30 centimeters or 12 inches away from the highest point of your bird dragon's back spot to achieve and maintain the correct fruit zone or fruit zone tree for your bird dragon. Then, with a T8 fruit zone tree UV bulb, the bulb needs to be at least 25 centimeters or 10 inches away from the highest point of your bird dragon's back spot to achieve and maintain the correct fruit zone or fruit zone tree for a bird dragon. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any evidence of guidelines of distances for a T8 friction zone tree bulb. Both these brands of UVB bulbs and actually kits as well, as they do kits, are the best UVB bulbs and kits on the market. Although they do have their advantages and disadvantages in comparison. Now, even if you want to improve your bridge on's heating and lighting stuff more than this, you can use use a plant grow light. Like I did with the UV bulbs, I'll talk about the both brands of plant grow lights. Arcadia's Jungle Dawn LED Bar and Reptile Systems New Dawn Pro 10 LED Bar. And just to say, I probably need, I'm saving up for uh, Arcadia's Jungle Dawn LED Bar because you can see my Oliver plant in the background. This one um, is not doing too well. <laughs> Except my other ones are sort of, if you look here, they're kind of doing okay. <laughs> That one, that, that one's kind of, uh, the new buds are growing. Um, I wonder how they'll survive without a plant light, but um, I'm going to get one soon once I save up. I, I, should, maybe, I, th I think it's the sh thing I should have done when I, um, I started my buyout to set up, but, um, but yeah, I thought I could get away with it, but no, I couldn't. Yeah, back to the video. Now first I talk about the Arcadia's Jungle Dawn LED bar. The Arcadia Reptile Jungle Dot LED Bar is sleek, bold and powerful, able to deliver the energy needed to help your plants to grow and to cause active basking in our species like bear dragons by increasing visible light in the vivarium. This clever system uses very fast, latest full spectrum high output LED diodes to help project up to a massive 141 lumens per watt. Using a specifically designed mix of full spectrum high output LED uh, output lens, Arcadia has created an, an LED bar that can project a vast quantity of light with a very high power value. The Jungle LED bar projects a full spectrum of light that mimics visible natural sunlight, 6200 Kelvin, along with the, the photosynthetic, photosynthetic active responsive curve without using power limiting separate red and blue diodes. You can place your jungle down LED bar on top of the off top of mesh or and fit it inside of room. Wherever you decide to use your to your jungle down LED bar, the jungle down LED bar will provide the highest levels of quality energy rich light. Now let's move on to talk about Reptile Systems Pro 10 New Dawn LED bar. Reptile Systems New Dawn Pro 10 LED bar is a true 6500 Kelvin. LED light source, providing high light levels at the correct wavelengths for your powerful plant growth. The Pro 10 New Dawn is LED is the superior of two new 
Dawn LED bars as the Pro 10 New Dawn LED bar contains two different kinds of lights. You have the standard lens and the pink and purple diodes but that are specifically for the development of the buds of the plants. The LED bar is also waterproof as LEDs are encased in within the unit making it ideal if you're using over mesh with, mess with misting systems, systems inside the enclosure. Now that's just about it. Now as I, as I said on titled the last video that I had about the best beer dragon heat and lighting um, I'm going to title this as for now as as research will always get better and then new information will get better my setup could get better you never know but um, I'll most likely be doing this video again so why this video will be titled um, for now but um, but yeah before we end this video though um, I'm just going to talk about my setup as you did kind of, I did kind of show you around it throughout the video so why not talk about it so you can see here this is Venom's Baston spot so this is where she has her little driftwood log our branch you could call it and then there's a little rock where our thermoster probe just there and then our uh, thermoster probe just there and this is a little rock with a sock on it so to stop the rock from absorbing too much heat and then burning her a few sides to sit on it so that's her uh, bath and spot there. Then in the middle of the room we have um, a little rock there so she can use that to get her to be um, which I'll show you in a second. I just want to get through the whole set first. And she has some aloe vera plant in the background which I am going to get more succulents which as I, we, we, as I said uh, when I get more, save up enough to get my uh, arcade jungle done at a deeper. Then on Venom's cold side she has a little driftwood branch uh, or log whatever you want to call it and then she has her basket of height so this is her light set zone so now i'll actually show you her room b so this is her top of the room now and then i'll actually end, I'll end this clip and then i'll show you the next the next up here now that we're sitting beside venom i will kind of i'm on lie on the floor and then i can show you venom's room b so as you can see she, oh, she has a light dead zone here so this is where you be stops and then just all the way back until there so if this is where you'd be here now that tape actually wasn't a show but um it's in the clip already so it's a heat tape it just just holds the thing a little bit more actually doesn't hold it up they kind of water proof hold it up but um just just explain it uh, it's just a little bit of tape that's heat resist that's heat resistant that kind of holds it make sure it's in place and yeah secure it in place okay it's secured already but uh i just secured it even more with some heat heat resistant tape so you can see this is uh venom evb here it's the arcadia pro, T pro t5 evb 12 cent bulb so you can see um i actually have the heat resistant tape over there in the wire as well to clean up the wires but um you can see here that there's a uv the pro t5 uv and actually this doesn't actually have the reflector on it at the reflector off as with the distances uh she can get quite high this is like even though this is like dead zone she can still get some uv you know to it and then same with her um bathroom spot as well i forgot to say as well which heat bulb i use i used the kda halogen heat bulb uh, as a basking heat bulb for venom so that's her setup and then here is venom so that's okay. it for this video on best uh, heating and lighting setup for your beer dragon. So um, hope you learned a bit more about or something because I put a lot of research and a lot of um, thought and work into this. A lot of uh, hours of last night doing work uh, for this video. So I hope you learned something at least. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notifications when I post. Bye.